We are from SRM Vijayana Government Arts and Science Pedamana College Company. We feel very proud to participate in this fantastic Vinyasa project. Why? Because this interface created a lot of students and directs the further research. We have designed an innovative project with the help of our assistant professor, Dhiran Kumasa. It is very useful to human society, future art and reviewing food preparation. We have conducted a door-to-door -door survey on kitchen statuses of different households and collected many opinions from the women. With the help of that, we have checked the quality of the The title of our study project is The Renewable Energy Solar Thermal Collector A Magic World. The aim of the project is to develop the technology by using physics to comfort humans with low cost or no cost. Thank you, Sri Now the theme of the project is food is one of the basic need to any living. We know that we our food each and every day by food. Generally, we use gas stoves, firewood, electricity, kerosene stoves to generate required heat to cook Such are non renewable sources and costly. Sun is the natural, everlasting, and renewable source for heat and According to our reviews and research, our food. The following things are noticed. Recently, sun heat energy is used as fuel for cooking. And till now, there are three important types of solar cookers such as devices with the types of box, panel, and parabolic reflectors. Box and parabolic box and solar cooker. This type of cookers are portable and can achieve the temperature from 90 degrees to up to maximum 200 degrees Celsius. Reflector solar cooker. In this device, more radiation will be focused on cook pot. Due to this, we can achieve nearly the temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. And our innovative device. We made an innovative device for cooking with sun heat with very low cost or almost no cost. And we have achieved the temperature 150 degrees of our device. And the survey. And we have conducted a survey on kitchen statuses and their friends to take public opinion and their kitchen statuses and on our experimental idea. We have prepared seven questions for our survey and the questions are mentioned there. What is the priority to survival of the people? How we prepared our food and how expensive is it? Can we get gas, kerosene, electricity or firewood as everlasting? What type of difficulties you are facing in your regular cooking process? Is it okay if the cooking process may be finished with low cost or almost no cost? Have you noticed any problem with your current cooking process? If you do, what are you? Are you inviting to use a new cooking process which is harmless, low cost or no cost and which can be used forever in sunny days? And the conclusion is that almost all the people have expressed that their conventional process is expensive and sometimes trouble making also and all our surprises and felt very good after the listening our creative thought and then addressed us more to work on this and then followed by thank you Bhavana. the methodology involved in this device is real time experiment and coming to next one it is device setup we have developed a innovative device uh, based on the theory and this device consists of five main parts which are portable, uh, easy to carry, easy to attach and detach and standard. And those five main parts are stand setting, uh, water convex lens, cooking bowl, plain weather and ball rest. Coming to device setup. So the first one is stand setting. We made this stand by welding rods, anglers and pipes. The stand holds the water convex lens and the plane reflecting mirror at the top and the base at the bottom. Coming to second one, it is a water convex lens. It is an innovative idea. With this idea, we had made a convex lens using water. So, the water on a transparent horizontal sheet acts as a water convex lens. So, we fixed. So, the water on a transparent horizontal sheet acts as a water convex lens. So, we fixed a transparent horizontal sheet at the top of the stand 
and we pour water into it. So now it acts as a water condenser. Coming to part one, uh, it is plain reflecting mirror. We arranged a plain reflecting mirror at the top of the stand in order to get angle of focus of radiation onto the water condenser as normal to it. Now coming to fourth one, uh, it is cooking bowl. We use a bowl with transparent lid to cook food in this device. And we place this bowl at the focus, focal point of the convex lens in order to get more heat. And the last one is bowl rest. We use a plank of thermal insulator as bowl rest in this device in order to avoid the heat loss. Now, the three part is explained by my friend, Sujita. Thank you, sir. The theory involved in this experiment is there are four basic concepts are involved in our experimental setup, which are loss of reflection, loss of refraction, properties of lenses, and properties of radiation. Loss of reflection. The incident light rays turns back into the same medium from huddle to its path is known as reflection. The angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incident with normal, and reflection occurs in all type of mirrors and loss of refraction. The bending of light in the plane of separation at two medias with two different densities is known as refraction. And the light rays moves towards the normal when they are passing from rarer medium to denser medium. And they move away from the normal when they are passing towards denser medium to rarer medium. And ref refraction occurs in all type of lenses like glass cubes, prisms, etc. And properties of lenses. Convex lens converges the light which is passing through it and concave lens diverges the light which is passing through it. And convex lens are also known as focusing lenses. And properties of radiation. The electromagnetic radiation will have rectilinear propagation in a medium. And when the electromagnetic radiation is incident on a surface or an object, then three phenomena occur which are reflection, refraction, refraction and absorption when the material is transparent and two phenomena occur when which are reflection and absorption when the material is opaque and electromagnetic radiation will have all the properties of ray optics. And working process will be explained by my friend Bhavan. Thank you, Susa. In this working process, there are five steps involved in our experiment. Reflection, refraction, focusing, converging and generates the heat. Mirror reflects the sun radiation and sets the normal direction to the water convex lens. This water convex lens focuses of a beam of radiation at the bowl, which is kept at the focal point of the water convex lens. Here what happens? The converged thermal radiation generates the required amount of heat to cook food. Then remaining part will be explained by my friend Sai. Thank you, Banu. Now I will explain the merits, demerits and precautions of the solar remote cooker and the merits are. It is a simple device and we can make it anywhere with lesser parts. It is a portable device. That means we can carry it anywhere and it can be assembled easily. It is a low cost device and there is no need of any maintenance for it. It is, it is a non-renewable non fuel is used in it. No non-renewable fuel is used in it. It is a best friendly cooking device. That means it doesn't emit any smoke or heat and it's not a cause of global warming or any other side effects. The cooking process is very healthy but compared to all other processes that are existed yet, there are no chances of any fire accidents in it. And the thing about limitations are, the process is a little bit slow. We use it only on sunny days during daytime. That means we can use it on rainy days and cloudy days. And the precautions are, we have to put the cook ball exactly at the focal point of the water conic lens. We have to use a transparent plastic sheet without having any holes. Black colored metal bowl is the best one to use as the cooking bowl. Thank you. Now my friend Srija will conclude this project. Once again, we are very glad to say this. What experiment we have done in our college premises with very low cost and good productive will be the future research innovation. Thank you, sir.